On October 7th, my grandpa passed away at 98 years old. And on that day, I promised to kill Big Buck in his memory. And on October 31st, the biggest buck I've ever laid eyes on come five yards under my stand chasing a doe. This is the story of the kicker buck. In 1979, the state of West Virginia designated four counties as bow only. And I'm lucky enough to call one of the bow only counties home. The first time I encountered this buck was September 6, 2020. He was feeding in a field beside the main road in the middle of the day. I saw him every other day in the field feeding and so did other people. People would stop on the side of the road and take pictures of him. Everyone in my county knew about this buck. I had no previous history with this deer. It came out of nowhere. And I knew with nursing school and work that I would have to locate him fast and get set up on him with season approaching. The work started. The sweating to death in the summer heat, the run of trail cams, beating through the briars and laurel thickets, doing everything possible to lean the odds and be killing this buck in my favor. I worked hard all summer. I was in the woods every chance I got running trail cameras. I ran several cameras for weeks in areas close by where I'd been seeing him. And with each card pull, I was eager to see if he had shown. He never did. Just like a ghost, he had disappeared. Season went on. I filled a doe tag. I was working part time and going to nursing school. I had lost all hope of harvesting this buck. Finally, deer season started. I headed out in hopes of filling a doe tag early season and was successful. Season went on. I stayed in the woods hunting and kept running trail cams in hopes to get a picture of him so that I'd know where to be. On October 31st, I woke up before my alarm ready to hit the woods. I was after a nine point that I've watched go into a solid buck. It was a beautiful cold morning, but no shooter bucks were seen. I went home around noon, got some lunch, got back in the stand around 3 p.m. and was ready to see what the evening had to offer. And about an hour later, I had a young doe work into the field out of the trim road in front of me. She fed around for a little bit and then worked over the hill. And then out of nowhere, all hell breaks loose. A doe come running up the ridge and stopped directly under my stand with her tongue hanging out. And through the brush I seen coming, it was the kicker buck. And all of a sudden, all the hard work I put in all summer trying to locate this buck come flooding back. All the long hours practicing shooting my bow, all the long hours in the woods busting my ass trying to find this deer. And here he is, 20 yards away, standing behind some brush looking at this doe. For what felt like an eternity. Him and the doe had a stare down. And then finally, the doe took off up the ridge, and here he come directly under my stand. I apologize in advance. There's just no possible way that I could have got this shot on camera with how everything happened, and he was directly under my stand. Oh my god. Oh my god. I just shot a freaking giant. 
I mean, it's straight down shot. I aimed offset of the spine and I got full penetration. Please be dead. I knew my shot was good. I went home, called some friends, and then the tracking began. Jesus Christ. Oh my God. Jeez. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Thirteen. Oh my God. Hey, look at that kicker right there. Alright y'all. I'm absolutely speechless. 15 people hunting this deer, and I'm the one who killed him. I was actually after another buck I called Tyson in here, and uh, I knew this deer was in the area, but I did not know he was going to be coming through today. I mean, five yards under my stand, so we're about to get him gutted. Get him up this hill. I mean, 13, absolute tank. I'll never kill another deer as big again. Oh. Alright y'all, we got to the four wheeler. About 400 yard drag, easy. Uh, hung his stand Thursday, come in here Saturday, kill this deer. This is the last deer I thought I'd see. On October 7th, I made a promise. On October 31st, I fulfilled that promise. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.